friends welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to share with you three dollar tree diys that are perfect for fall and i made them out of dollar tree items and also some things that you can find in nature and maybe have at home so let's get started for the first project i'm gonna be using these cotton uh, stems I actually made these by myself. I'm going to link that video in the description box, but you can purchase them anywhere, any craft store. And I know Dollar Tree carries them also. Another thing I'm going to be using for this project is a little bowl. This is uh, the bowl that I um, got from my uh, kid's playroom. You can use any bowl you have. You can use a mini a plastic golf ball or even a ping pong ball. Um, so what I'm uh, going to do is I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to attach these cotton stems all the way around the bowl. So as you can imagine now, I am creating the bowl fillers. So uh, the first one I'm making will be this one. So uh, the cotton stem bowl filler, it is uh, so simple to make and it requires minimum, minimum effort. I'm going to show you over here in just a second how it looks like when it's all finished. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so fall uh, and just so warm. The next one I'm going to be making will require uh, acorn caps. So my kids and I went for a walk and we picked up some acorns. So uh, you can see over here how easy it is to take off the cap off of the acorns. You just pull it out. I'm going to use the same bowl that I used um, earlier, the same type, and I'm going to use Waverly Chalk Paint in a color truffle to give it a one coat, just because you cannot cover uh, the bowl completely with the um, acorn caps, so something will be visible and I didn't want the white to show through. After everything was completely dried, I'm doing the same I did with the cotton balls. Uh, I am attaching them with my hot glue. Now my uh, bowl over here has uh, holes. It was perfect to push uh, through um, that little stem on the top of the acorn cap. If your bowl doesn't have holes, you can certainly um, cut off that little uh, stem piece and uh, the cap will be straight and it will uh, glue on top of the bowl perfectly. So after everything was done, I'm going to show you now how my bowl fillers look like. This is simple and easy and very inexpensive way to make some bowl fillers and they are perfect for this season. And what's the best part? You can include your kids in this, in collecting and just helping you with this project and you handle the hot glue gun. On to my second project. For this project, I'm going to be using these uh, cinnamon scented sticks. I purchased them last year at Walmart, but I know uh, Walmart still has them and some craft store has them uh, also. Then a jar, and then I'm going to be using my hot glue gun, some twine, and also uh, another option is to use these uh, flammable candles. So uh, what I'm going to do is to take a hot glue and put a little uh, dab on a top a rim and a bottom rim of this jar to attach my sticks. And I'm going to do that all the way around. I didn't want to put the hot glue um, all over the bottle. So I just uh, put a little dab on top and a bottom. And that was actually just enough and perfect because on top of all this, I'm going to be adding the twine in the middle and that's going to hold it in place. So with the twine, I'm just wrapping it around and making very, very simple bow. Nothing too much, but this is personal preference. You can add anything you want. You can add a ribbon or um, different kind of bow, anything you want. And I'm adding a little piece, uh, a little button and that's it. Next one I'm going to show you is with a flammable candle and some sticks that I picked up uh, from my front yard. And you can use a hot glue gun for this, but I'm going to show you how I use it a little bit differently if you don't want anything permanent. So I'm taking this uh, elastic band and I am going to push through my sticks like I'm showing you over here. I'm going to go around. I'm going to just create a pattern any way I want to cutting down the sticks to the size that I think it's perfect. 
When I'm all done, I'm going to add the twine that came from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue just to keep it in place. And this is what's going to secure these sticks to stay in place. I'm going to wrap this a couple of times around and I'm going to uh, finish it with the hot glue as well. Then I'm uh, taking a little piece of the same twine. I'm going to wrap it twice um, to create a double bow, as you can see over here. And then I'm going to just tie it in the middle and hot glue that on my candle. And that's it for this project. I think it's super, super cute. I think it fits perfect uh, with any team that you have on your home in your home and it just looks so beautiful and warm for this particular one i used uh, the tea light candle and that was the real candle uh, but for the other one it was flameless you can really use anything you want but for safety purposes i wanted a flameless candle on this one again these are very inexpensive and very easy to make decor pieces that are perfect for fall Before we continue on to the third project, I want to welcome you to my channel. I love creating beautiful DIYs on a budget for my home and I really hope you enjoyed watching my videos and I also want to thank every one of you for being part of my channel and get me to the 10,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it and I'm excited to create more beautiful things for you guys. So thank you again. Also, if you're on a social media, don't forget to look for me. And if you recreate some of my projects, make sure to tag me. I would like to feature you on my page. Now on to the third project and probably my favorite project. I have this sign. I think it was from last year from the Dollar Tree, but I know they carry very similar pumpkin signs still. The, the first thing I'm going to do is to cut off the twine that came with and also the top part as well now i'm going to take the uh, wood filler and i'm going to fill out the holes on both pieces after it was dry i'm going to sand it out and i'm going to also send out the edges of this sign a little bit because like i said it is from last year so the edges started to fray just a little bit when i was completely done with uh, sanding both of my pieces i am going to start painting the pumpkin so the uh, first thing I'm going to use is Rust-Oleum Chalk Paint in a linen white color, my favorite one. And I am going to um, paint this with a kind of circular motion or let's say curved uh, motion, curved streaks. And I don't want it to be perfect because I wanted some uh, shades on this pumpkin and I wanted it to look real. I'm going to leave this to dry and while this drying, I'm going to take a large craft sticks that came from the uh, from Walmart and I'm going to take three of them. Uh, for the first two, I'm going to measure the this rectangle part of the pumpkin sign uh, and I'm going to cut out just a little bit smaller than the sign. I'm going to do uh, that on two craft sticks. I'm going to cut it out with my exacto knife and I'm going to link this one in the description box as well. It is very inexpensive and very good one. I'm going to send out the edges and as you can see over here, I have two of these now. And now I'm going to measure uh, how much I need to cut for the sides. When everything was done, I'm going to take just a leftover pieces, scrap pieces of uh, craft sticks and I'm going to glue them on the two longer pieces to keep them together. I'm using my hot glue for this. Next step will be to attach the sides to this one. Again, I'm using the hot glue, hot glue and uh, you see over here, I am creating kind of a mini um, crate type of thing. And you'll see later how all that will come together. So I'm attaching the sides and um, just holding it a little bit while the hot glue dries. If you recreate this, you can certainly use any uh, wood glue and, or any other type of glue. But for me, uh, I think this works perfectly. Now I am taking the Waverly Chalk Paint in a color mineral and I am giving this um, piece one coat. It doesn't have to be perfect. And while that is drying, I'm taking the same brush, so from the same paint, and I am distressing this pumpkin. I am giving um, 
it's uh, more dimension i'm creating those lines that a real pumpkin has next i am uh, using the truffle uh, by waverly chalk paint and i am painting the stem and also adding some more dimension as well as using after that the uh, waverly chalk paint in a color celery which will give you some uh, very subtle color on top and some extra uh, shading I really like how this turned out and I think it looks very nice now I'm gonna attach um, those two pieces that I created earlier they are completely dried and this is going to be that mini crate that I showed you and uh, I'm going to add extra hot glue from the inside to keep it in place now I am uh, painting it all with the Beverly Chalk Paint in a color mineral. At first I painted just the outer edges and a little bit from the inside, but later on you will see I painted it all the way from the inside. Uh, it just looked nicer and in case something was visible, it will be nice and seamless. Next I'm taking these Woodcraft Cubes from the Dollar Tree. I'm taking four of them and I'm going to paint with the same uh, mineral color. Uh, three sides of uh, these cubes when they were completely dried I'm going to attach them to the bottom of my mini crate that I created like I'm showing you over here and after this was uh, all dried I am going to hot glue this to the front of my pumpkin so you see how everything is coming together very nicely now I'm adding more hot glue to secure it. And next I'm gonna take my uh, Waverly chalk paint in a color truffle, and I am going to go over the edges to give it extra uh, shade and just uh, to distress it a little bit more and give it a uh, just nice distressed color or distressed uh, feel. Next I'm taking the piece of the craft um, stick and a uh, Waverly, uh, I mean, a Rustoleum chalk paint in a uh, linen white color and just distressing it a little bit, not too much. And then I'm taking my pencil and freehanding uh, Happy Fall. And then I'm going to go over uh, that with this marker that has a brush tip. And after that, I decided to just go along the edges and create lines. And that is it for this mini sign. I am going to use my hot glue gun and add three dabs, a little bit thicker because I wanted it to stand out just a little bit. And I'm going to hot glue it in the middle of this mini crate. And this is perfect. You can fill it out with any mini pumpkins or anything like I did over here, or it's going to be perfect for moms when they come around. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.